What's up everyone, it's your boy Shocky here, coming to you with another episode of A Twisted Path Through Renown. Today we're going to be talking about some of the new locations that they've added to the map of Arizona Forest, as well as a locked cart box that I found, but I haven't found the key quite yet, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited about some of these new updates. Okay, so as you can see, we've got ourselves pretty close to the TPs on the east side of the map, and on top of this hill, overlooking those TPs, we've got a new shack here. I don't know what we're going to call it, but I don't know, let's call it Random Shack, or TP Shack. There's a couple of heels on the ground as well as some things on the table. I don't know if people have looted this yet but there's definitely quite a bit of loot so I would assume this is probably the loot table that spawns in this area but let's grab this apple so we can keep fueled for the mission ahead. All right, so moving north of this area, we've got our next location called the Logger's Shack or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But there's logs outside and it's kind of a shack. Anyways, there's an opening in the area. I would say this is probably in between the new shack that we found by teepees, just a bit north before you hit the burnt forest. But I might leave this one a little bit more unknown so that people can try and find it themselves. This one's a little bit trickier to find. So I hope you guys enjoy looking for it. The loot table is going to be a box in here. You're going to be able to find some pretty mid-range stuff but definitely a good place to go check out. There's obviously going to be one or two bots making sure that you are coming correct. And then there's going to be some bags inside for a little bit more than what the other areas were, as well as this box with a rifle holster inside. Make sure you quickly dispatch these bots that are going to be patrolling the area and go loot that rifle holster if you need to. And we'll keep moving on after that. All right, so moving north after the logging shack area, we do find ourselves a little bit of a teaser from the devs in the swamp area. Area. There's a dead horse there. It's got a, probably more than just one spawn, I would say. I don't know the other spawns quite yet, but if you do find them, please do let me know in the comment section below. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and comment if there's anything that I've missed or any other places that you've found. We're going to go through a couple of them, but it had to be a pretty cursory search. And then we'll get to the last section, which is the mystery key lockbox. All right, let's keep moving. So on the south side of the swamp area, more to the east, we've got our dead horse here. We're not going to beat it. We're not beating a dead horse, but we are going to kill this AI and we're also going to find ourselves with a compact knapsack, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure if there's going to be a variation of the loot pool here, but a good big backpack is not bad to have, especially as a newer player. So definitely check that out if you spawn in the swamp area. Oof, you are one ugly mother... All right, so moving on to our next location, we're going to be about northeast of the Annie's Village area, and we've got ourselves a random little sack right by the logs here. Just make sure that you don't have the wolves close by, but it's probably going to be pretty safe to come up here, especially if you do spawn right in the Annie's Village corner area up by this map here, just north of the swamp. All right, and moving more west now, we're going to be heading towards the mine area from Annie's Village. We're not going to actually get to the mine, but on the road here, we do find ourselves a random random cart. A couple of things here. There's a small box as well as a bag. So definitely check those out. Again, really good for a newer player that's needing to get some stuff with a very low chance of running into other players and other bots. That being said, with low risk comes low reward. These are not going to be places you're going to find some pretty amazing stuff. However, it's nice that the devs are adding new little areas for players to go and explore that wouldn't generally be traveled otherwise. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the new secret lockbox location. So if we make our way down to the south side of the map towards Dead Tree, heading on our way from Dead Tree towards the Islet area, as well as towards the Widow's Cabin, we found ourselves a little broken down carriage with a couple of dead horses, two boxes here that have got a fair amount of stuff in them, still low tier stuff here, but it definitely seems like there's a bit more loot. And then, wow, we found a, a chest, a chest with a key that needs it to be unlocked. I have no idea where that is. I'm not exactly sure where to start to look for it, but that looks like something that is going to be fun to figure out where that key is and what is inside. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything that I missed. Maybe we can do another video, and I'm excited to figure out where this key is and how to get inside of that box, as well as what is inside the box. Ooh. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching again. Appreciate all the support, and definitely hit that like, subscribe, and comment in the section below for that sweet algorithm juice. All right. Ciao for now.